Hi everyone, today we're going to make a Christmas theme charcuterie board. I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I share keto and carnivore recipes and other cooking ideas that have helped me to lose over 130 pounds. I hope that you will come along this journey with me to my goal weight and check out my other videos and my website. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I hope you enjoy today's video. Okay, so today we're going to have a little bit of fun. We're getting into that season of holiday parties and events and gatherings. And one of the things that I hear a lot in my Facebook group and people who email me is, I don't know what to bring, I need ideas of what to bring, or people are coming over, I need ideas, what can I do? For, for keto and even for carnivore, it is so easy. Uh, and, and this is one of my favorite things to do is making a charcuterie board because you can have all the animal products on there. You can include a little bit of, you know, olives and cucumbers or pickles for the keto people. It's so easy to make, you know, uh, keto compliant sauces. Uh, you could have mustard and mayo, but today, we are going to have some fun and make a Christmas tree themed charcuterie board and it will be the talk of the party. People are going to look at it in awe and wonder and they're never going to know it's keto. It's just going to look like a fantastic charcuterie board. Now at uh, Canadian Thanksgiving, I made a butter board. It was covered in butter and it had bacon roses and all kinds. It was perfectly carnivore compliant. Okay, people are gonna love this. It was even BBBE compliant. And I had a charcuterie board on the same day which had deviled eggs on it. It was bright and colorful. I mean, these things become talking points for gatherings even. So uh, I have a few supplies down here. Mostly it is uh, deli meats that you can get anywhere. You know, try and get the cleanest ones you can. Some of the ones that I can get from a local butcher, they are made on site. Most of them are made from beef. These are things that I just bought from the grocery store. Um, prosciutto is usually just ham and salt, nothing else. Um, so, you know, it, I mean, it's, it's a party. I feel like at this time of year, in order to stay on track, sometimes you need to make some compromises on some of the ingredients. I mean, that's what I do. You, you do what you wanna do. But I basically consider all these things here to be acceptable to most people who do carnivore, ketovore, keto. Some of these things add color to the board, like olives and uh, some rosemary sprigs. You don't have to eat them. They're just there for decorating. There will be somebody who eats them for you. So, um, so let's get started on the tree because we're going to make something that looks like a Christmas tree. I'm going to make it on this big board here. I have had this little tiny, tiny picture that I cut out from a magazine months ago, maybe even last Christmas and I just never got around to making it. Um, if you want to see it, this is where I'm taking my inspiration from today. So uh, I'm going to, you know, kind of have it here to use as a guide. And uh, I'm going to start opening some of these meats here and uh, get started. Let's see. I really like this, whatever this is. Um, these are Costco. These are those three packs that you can get. Anything that I don't use today, I will uh, probably stick it in the freezer and then bring it out again, you know, whoop, you know, whoop. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> None went on the floor. That's awesome, it's a miracle. I love these because they're so round and they're a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna start, actually I'm gonna start with a slightly bigger one and then switch over to these little ones. So that is salami. What is this one? Parma. I don't know what that means. 
I think these are all salamis. So I'm going to grab some out of here. And they're nice, uh, you know, fatty looking ones too. So they're going to have some decent fat on them. I kind of like this for my starting point. So I'm just coming over to my board here and I'm going to lay them out. You want people to be able to pick them up easily. We'll talk later about some other ideas too uh, after we get this made. So this is going to kind of be the base of the tree. And I'm going to, this is what these rosemary sprigs are for. They're, I'm just kind of going to lay them down here so that, you know, visually it looks like a tree with things on it. This is my hope anyways. So now I'm going to use a row of these smaller ones. This cheese, this is a uh, Monterey cheese and it's got um, the jalapenos and little chili peppers or whatever. In, yeah, habanero and jalapeno peppers are inside here. And that also just gives it a bit of color. So that's going to be my next layer, or my next tree tier. I lost my scissors, there they are. You know, honestly, I think anyone can do this. I'm definitely not the most creative person around. And, you know, I was inspired by this picture that I saw. So if I can do it, I know you can. So and then we're just going to basically put this on here like this. It's kind of like a little pile of them. I think it's time for another row of green. Okay, now I'm going to put some prosciutto on there. We got back here. I honestly don't even know what this is, but I like how colorful it looks and it looks like something that I could make. It. Yeah, look at that. It's like a little rose I can make out of that. So all I'm doing is I'm pinching it in the middle and just kind of twisting it a bit. I'm kind of using the rosemary sprig to anchor this and, and just kind of pushing it down a bit. They're, they're so fatty that the fat is sticking to the board, which is nice. You could, um, if you wanted, use some toothpicks if it looked like they were gonna, you know, your rose shape here was going to fall apart. Kind of like how these turned out. I'm gonna save those because there's only three of them. I'm gonna put them up closer to the top of the tree. And we'll open this one and we'll just do another row like that. I'm going to get some of these olives out too. The olives are nice because you can kind of fill in little holes. And if you turn the red part, you know, the pimento facing up, I mean, it just makes it look like there's little Christmas lights on here. You know, instead of putting a row of them, make them kind of random. So I'll probably add some more at the end as well. I mean, it really depends, like how heavy you load this up, depends on how many guests you're expecting it to be good for. I also have some Bocconcini pearls. These are, you know, they're little tiny round pieces of fresh mozzarella, so those too can look a little bit like Christmas lights or um, you know what uh, maybe snow on the bottom I actually have some feta cheese that I could crumble to make it look like it's sitting in snow you know just get creative and use your imagination with this I've got some of these Kalamata olives these are pitted too I mean I don't, I like the ones that have the pits in, I don't mind at all. But when you're taking it to a party, 
Um, last thing you want is anyone choking on your olive pit. So um, it's, I kind of prefer to have the pitted ones for guests and things. But that also adds a nice layer of color here. I'm going to do the, I cut all these long prosciutto pieces in half and I'm going to do the same thing I did down here with these is I'm going to make, make something that looks a little bit like roses or flowers or something. So we're gonna be getting to the top of the tree soon. So I have to make some decisions about what I'm gonna do, how I'm gonna end the tree. Okay. I need more rosemary. So I'm gonna try and slide that under those olives. I think it's looking pretty good. So let's get some more Christmas lights on this tree. I'm going to make a star. And I'm really hoping this works. It's basically a cookie cutter. Oh, look at that. Oh, not quite, but that's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna put a few randomly around the tree. Let's see if I can get a perfect one for on top though. That's not quite big enough. Yeah, I want a big star for on top. I'm gonna make a couple more small ones, but I, I want one big one. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. It's more in proportion. So I'm gonna make a couple of smaller ones for the rest, like to put on the other parts of the tree. I mean, the other pieces of cheese, you can, you know, throw it in your omelet or, you know, something else you're making. This already looks better than the one in the picture, I think. <laughs> All my stars and Christmas lights on it. You know, basically just use your imagination. One of the problems might be though, that people will go, I don't want to ruin it by taking anything off of there, but you can encourage them that it's all edible. I'm gonna make one more star. So here, here's our tree. Um, I think it looks pretty good. We've got stars and snowballs on it and Christmas lights, meat to eat you know, all kinds of things. You know, there's room on this tray. You could put little things of mustard. Um, you could put butter, uh, you know, mayonnaise, uh, any type of dip. Um, have a basket that has pork rinds in it, with those cheese wisps, um, maybe some uh, egg yolk waffle sticks, like, you know, any type of thing that you could serve this with. My, myself, I don't really care about those things. I usually just load my plate up with meat and cheese. And, uh, you know, that is certainly an, an option. So, um, yeah, like, that was pretty easy, right? What do you think? Um, I'm, I'm going to link down below some other charcuterie boards that I, that I made, including uh, last Christmas and last Thanksgiving, I made some different boards. I also did a video last year. The whole thing was carnivore appetizers. Um, hot and cold and uh, ideas. So I'll link that video below. Um, and I've got, uh, I think a blog post on my website that is all appetizers, keto and carnivore appetizer ideas and foods. I'm gonna link that all down below. So your holidays are taken care of your parties. And you know, there is no reason for worrying about what you're gonna serve people. I would be proud to bring this anywhere, except maybe, you know, a vegan party. Probably wouldn't do that. Um, but anywhere else, <laughs> I, I think would, this would be very well received and people would be impressed. And it was so easy. So I hope you take some of my ideas under consideration and we will see you all in the next video.